Here's an example of placing only what you're going to be using. So here we are in our InDesign file with a textured image. And if we select the content tool and click in there, we see that it's placed at 100%. So we must be pretty good, right? Not so fast. Let's zoom out a second. And you see this frame here? This is the actual size of that textured image that we're using. If we click here to edit original and open it in Photoshop, this is the size, the full size of the image that we're only seeing a part of in InDesign. If we check out the image size, we'll see it's over 27 inches high. We know our book page is not that tall. So we could easily um, crop just the section we're going to be using in InDesign and place that. And that would save us a lot of room right there.